Okay, well, I figured I would do a kind of a tour of my setup. It's not very big yet, because I just uh, I just got these in August. My this is my harvester ant colony that I got from Tar Hill Ants, which have well all of my unless I keep my ants in are from Tar Hill. These are the harvester ants that I got. It was the queen and two workers and some brood. And then this is the one I the harvester ants that I got from Tar Hill Ants also from this is the ones I got with the Black Friday sale. And then this is my Formica colony that's got the brood that you've seen the babies and stuff in some of my videos. And then this colony this is the one that's got no queen but it's got a couple females and a bunch of males with eggs. And then in the back here, I'm not gonna open that. That's the uh, Polyergus Queen with her workers. And with losing one, I took the took the heating coil out from under and kind of set them off to the back. Maybe they'll they rest a little bit. She hasn't laid any eggs yet since I'd gotten her. And then this is the colony with three different formica the old world this is another tarla ants uh, which as you can tell I I do like using Tar Hill ants equipment I I've been keeping ants for right around 40 years I started about five years old just kind of look sitting and watching them and then I started keeping them in jars and stuff and I would try to make my own ant farms but mostly I would just keep them in jars and they never lasted all that long because I didn't really know the you know the hydration stuff but since I had gotten these uh, the mini hearths I've been able to keep them alive which is really nice and then I had caught this at the end of the summer I had caught a bunch of queens I had found that they were um, on their mating flight Managed to catch a bunch of them. I don't know if I can. This is the. You won't probably be able to see her because this is the really tiny queen. You can kind of see her right there. And then I got down here and amongst the old school video game. Um, computer games when you still got them on disc. <laughs> I got my syringes and extra uh, inserts and stuff for my test tubes. And this is how I heat. I got this, uh, regulates the heat so it doesn't get too hot. And what it is is I keep the got the heating coil running underneath each one and at this at the end one I've got the thermometer the thermostat um, connected to that one and that regulates so that the heat doesn't get too high and then I've got my extra mirrors the ones that don't have anything in them yet which will be from those some from the test tubes and when I get some other ants this spring.